Good afternoon, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome everyone to our Ready, Set, Grow garden dedication. At this time, I would like to present Miss Kentucky Ramsey Carpenter. She is going to play the fiddle, and to play our anthem on the fiddle. And listen carefully. When I tell you to, you're going to stand and our country's flags are going to be, and our state's flags are going to be presented. And I want you to remain standing until you're asked to sit down. Okay? Please stand. You may be seated. You know, our school is like a garden. We're planting the seed of knowledge each day. We nurture the love of learning in our students so that they can grow, so that our community can flourish, uh, just like that we've seen our garden grow through the years. We're fortunate to have teachers like Miss Becky Gaither and her family who have worked so hard for us, the students and staff at Beaver Dam, to have a garden that we can learn from. Not only to be, have the opportunity to grow vegetables and taste real Kentucky produce, but also to gain a sense of true Kentucky pride. We are fortunate to have contributors, um, people that have contributed to the success of our garden and we appreciate that so much and that's what today is about. At this time, I would like for the Gaither family to stand and I would like to, Miss Gaither, I lost you all, please wave. Mr. and Miss Gaither have done, I wanna thank you on behalf of Beaverdam Elementary and the community of Beaverdam. We appreciate your undying dedication to our youth. At this time, I'd like for Emily Sisk to come forward. She's a sixth grade student here at Beaver Dam, and she's going to. She has a speech prepared about uh, students' experience in the garden. Commissioner, staff, classmates, and guests. 
Today we are all here to recognize the beauty of our school's garden and to thank all of you who have made it possible. Our school's garden showcases leadership and teamwork. When our school received this grant, Mrs. Becky Gaither, one of our kindergarten teachers, took on the challenge to oversee this project. At the beginning of last year, teachers allowed students to participate by planting an assortment of shrubs, small trees, flowers, and vegetables. This was and continues to be a great learning experience for all students, and especially for those who have never had the first-hand opportunity of working in a garden. To prepare the garden for this school year, some student volunteers and myself met one morning this summer to pull weeds and some dead perennial plants and to fill areas with new mulch. We were basically cleaning out the old to help prepare for the new. As we continued the garden project this school year, my sixth grade classroom had the chance to sample some of the cherry tomatoes that were grown right here in our garden. They were delicious and very fresh. I know many other students have had the opportunity to taste some of the other fresh fruits and vegetables, such as watermelons, sweet peppers, and carrots. The garden here at Beaverdam Elementary continues to be a great learning experience for everyone. It has been a joint effort from the oldest students and adults to the youngest. So everyone, look around at our garden. It's pretty amazing how we've all come together to create such a beautiful place for our school. So let's get ready, set, grow. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Ohio County Judge Executive, David Johnson. My, this place looks so good, and I'm so proud of all of you. Uh, the school, the Department of Agriculture, and uh, our community to have such an, a nice project. Uh, it... Uh, it brings us back to where our food really came from, and you know that, and uh, we're Kentucky proud. Thank you. Mayor Sandiford. Hey, good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Good. Hey, beautiful day out here today. A little warm, but that's great. It could be raining and cold, right? Hey, beautiful day. Hey, I, I'm Paul Sander from the Mayor of Beaverdam. I just want to let you guys know how proud we are of you down at City Hall, what you've done up here with your facility and your garden. It's gorgeous. Uh, I have to admit, grade school is a lot different than it was back in the day when I was in grade school. Of course, that's been more than I care to think about. But uh, Ms. Gaither, congratulations on behalf of the city on all the work you've done out here. It's exciting to see some people get involved with the programs like the Kentucky Proud. And looking forward to one day seeing a lot of you maybe working with our farmer's market. I know Mr. Stouffer's here that's been with the Beaverdam Farm and Community Farmer's Market. So we expect you to keep this right on going on and uh, moving up and down at the market someday. The main reason, though, we're here this afternoon is to talk about the Ready, Set, Grow program and, and Beaverdam Elementary's position in that. It's my pleasure to be able to introduce you this afternoon to gentlemen, Commissioner of Agriculture, Mr. Jamie Comer. In the two and a half years in office, Commissioner Comer has cleaned up the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, has led the charge to restore the industrial hemp production in Kentucky, and expanded the department's efforts to promote local food. And I think that's one of the most important aspects of his job on a personal uh, perspective. He has been involved with the launch of the Homegrown by Heroes, a special logo that identifies farm products produced by Kentucky veterans. He's created it Utterly Kentucky. It's a brand that designates milk produced by 105 Kentucky dairy farm families and processed, processed by Prefairy Farms Dairy in Somerset. He's visited Ever Kentucky County in each of his first two years of office. He was elected in November 2011. He also, before Commissioner of Agriculture, served in the House of Representatives from January 2000 to December 2011. Commissioner Comer owns the James Comer Jr. Farms in his native Monroe County, Kentucky. And at this time, I would like to introduce our Commissioner of Agriculture, Mr. Jamie Comer. Well, thank you very much, Mayor, Judge, all the great people from Ohio County and the surrounding areas that have been here today. 
Miss Kentucky, who I'm going to talk about in just a second. But more than anything, boys and girls that are students of Beaver Dam Elementary, congratulations for this day because this is a big day for your school. And we are here today because your school has had so much success with, this, with, this, with your garden that we work with you all on a new program called the Ready, Set, Grow program, which is a great initiative that the Department of Agriculture is working with, along with the First Lady of Kentucky, uh, Miss Jane Bashir, where that we encourage gardens to be produced all across the state, especially in elementary schools, where we can teach people about agriculture and teach people how to produce food. And you all have done such a great job with that. Today, we're going to announce and present to your leadership here in the school that Beaver Dam Elementary is the first school to be certified a Ready, Set, Grow school in the state of Kentucky. And that's a big deal, and you should be very proud of yourselves for that. This program is about teaching people where their food comes from. We call that increasing agriculture literacy. We want people to know that uh, food is produced in Kentucky by Kentucky farmers. And if you have some tomato plants or if you grow some squash or some vegetables, you're a farmer. And it's important that we uh, appreciate our farmers because we have a lot of issues that are important in our lives. We have a lot of issues that are important to our security. But the most important issue in our life, the most important issue to our national security is the need to have a safe, healthy, reliable food supply. And we have that here in America and here in Kentucky and here in Ohio County because of the sacrifice of our farmers. So what you're doing today is this is an outdoor classroom. It's a laboratory where you're learning how to produce food. And that's the most important thing that, that, uh, that we can teach people how to produce food. So I want to commend you all on being future farmers and commend you all on producing food. Not only is that food that you grew, that's healthy food. And it's important because we have a lot of issues with our health in this state. And one way to become healthier people so that we can live long lives is that we eat healthy. And anything grown in a garden in Kentucky is going to be healthy. So I want to congratulate you on that. I also want you to look at as you develop as future leaders of Kentucky to look at someone from your hometown here in Ramsey Carpenter. She's a role model because she's smart, she's talented, she works hard, she, has, she had a dream and she worked hard to achieve that dream. So you can, you can be anything you want to be in life. Ramsey's proof of that. And I know Ramsey because when she became Miss Kentucky, she automatically became kind of an employee of the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. So in addition to being Miss Kentucky this year, she's going to travel all over the state and speak to elementary schools and encourage you to eat healthy and to support local farmers. You have a great farmer's market here uh, in this area, and we want you to support it and buy food there and eat healthy. And that's what Ramsey's doing, and she's done a great job, and I'm glad to be with her in her home county today to congratulate you. So at this time... I want to call a couple of people to the to the stage. I want to uh, first of all call ask Miss Gaither to come up, and then I want to ask Miss Tishner to come up. I'll start with Miss Tishner. On behalf of the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, I want to present this to you, the Beaver Dam Elementary School of Ohio County, for being the first school garden to be designated Ready, Set, Grow in the state of Kentucky. Congratulations. Thank you. None of this would have happened without your passion and your dedication to making this dream a reality. And I want to thank you on behalf of all the family farmers in Kentucky. Those of us who farm want to make sure that the next generation understands and appreciates where their food comes from. And that's what you have done with this project. So on behalf of the farmers of Kentucky and the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, I want to present you with a certificate as an honorary commissioner of agriculture in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So congratulations to you all and thank you very much.
At this time, I'd like to ask uh, Greg Comer to come up. He is our Ohio County Extension agent. Here we are. Thank you. Well, it certainly is a beautiful day here today. Pretty fitting for uh, the dedication of the Outdoor Learning Center. Some of us would look upon this garden as a place to teach our youth how to grow their food. Others may look upon it as a way to teach our students how to beautify our world. But I look upon this area as a building block for meeting the challenge of feeding future generations. Reports, recent reports say our world population will almost double to 11 billion people by the start of the 22nd century. When you look at history over the last 60 years, the agricultural industry has improved our farmers and ranchers' production capabilities tremendously. In 1950, each farmer produced enough food and fiber for 27 people in the world. Today, U.S. farmers produce enough food and fiber for 155 people in the world. By the start of 2100, we must again double our agricultural productivity to meet the demands of the world's population. But I am encouraged each time I visit Beaver Dam Elementary School for a program. I'm encouraged by the enthusiasm and the interest of the students, whether we are planting a garden area or learning about composting materials. The students are always eager to participate and learn. I, as I look out amongst you today, I encourage all students to consider looking at a career in agriculture. We need students with an interest not only in farming, but in the sciences. We need those people with that, that ability to develop the genetics that our, our livestock and our grain farmers need to produce the food, to increase those yields, to, to be able to raise crops with less and less water each year. We need students that will go into the technologies that build equipment that is more fuel efficient out there for the farmers. We need students that love mathematics, that help create computers which run our equipment more effectively and more efficiently. All designed to meet our future's world needs. And lastly, I congratulate, congratulate the Beaver Dam Elementary teachers, especially Becca Gaither, for developing this wonderful garden area and providing our youth the building block for meeting the needs of our future world. Thank you. And at this time, we would like to ask Purdue Director of Kentucky Operations to come up. Jim Booth, I'm sorry, Jim Booth, the Purdue Kentucky Operations Director to come up. Thank you, Ms. Thistler. I'm sorry I butchered your name. Jim. I'm glad, glad to have you here. <laughs> Very glad. That's, that's fine. I thought Paul was going to say that Miss Gaither was one of his teachers, Mayor Sanford. I know that wasn't true, so. And my notes are to make sure I know what I didn't say when I review it later, but good afternoon. I'm honored to be here today on behalf of Purdue Farms, the Arthur W. Purdue Foundation, and all the Purdue, Kentucky Associates. Uh, Arthur Purdue, back in 1957, knew the importance of working, supporting the communities where Purdue did business. Frank Purdue, he also knew that importance and he carried that on. He increased that endowment. Jim Purdue does the same thing. He believes it's important to support the communities and the different things they do. And the Ready, Set, Grow is a program that is just something that when the executive director of the Arthur W. Purdue Foundation called me and asked me about it, I said, yes, we need to support that. It's something that's going to teach the youth today about the importance of agriculture and where those products come from and and how to grow it. You'll even learn how to weed it, I'm sure. But I said it was very important and I knew the support it had from the commissioner, from the community leaders, and from the, uh, the, the community itself is just something that was outstanding that this program was going to benefit, the Ready, Set, Grow. So on behalf of Purdue Farms, I'd like, Becky, can you come accept? We'd like to present Ready, Set, and Grow. I know you've worked very hard on it with $5,000 from Purdue Farms. So.
to hear you cheer one more time because I know you can be louder than that. So. Thank you. And Ms. Gaither, if you'll stay there, Mr. Camp has asked to join our agenda. I've misplaced everybody. Travis Camp. Oh, I she were yeah, You are hiding on me. Yeah. Anyway, we're glad to have you speak today, and we appreciate you, as always. Hey, guys. I just want to thank you for uh, allowing me to come out today. Uh, they have done such a great job, uh, Ms. Gaither and her husband. Uh, we've been on board since the start of this, and I know this does impact kids, you know, through their uh, garden. Uh, I did have some landscape at my house. Some of that is gone. Now we have a garden because my little girl spent some time up here and that's what she enjoyed. So uh, Modern Woodman has, has just tremendously want to thank you for allowing us to be part of it. Uh, I bring today another thousand dollars to help you guys out. Uh, that's through our uh, Good Neighbor program with Modern Woodman. And, uh, I'll get with you. I'll get with you on that. And, I just want to thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. And we're actually almost finished. We have a shirt to present to Commissioner Comer. Um, that is a Got Vegetables shirt. And Ready, Set, Go, BDES. And then we also have a ceremony. Uh, we have some sixth grade students that are going to help with uh, planting some mums in our uh, green tubs back here. And if at this time Jonas Holbrook, Kylie Johnson, and Carrie, uh, Karina, uh, say it again, Karina. There you go. There you go. Sorry. Uh, we come forward. They're going to help Ms. Commissioner Comer, Mayor Sandifer, and Mr. Booth plant a mum in our in our garden spot over here. But here is your shirt. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And then right up here. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, she looks pretty. She looks pretty in person. She's 100%. Thank you, students. You know, they were quite nervous when they found out they were going to help you all today. They did a good job, as usual. Good job, you guys.